Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a few tricks that are built into Lantern that will greatly speed up your development process. Many of the old tutorial, or the tutorials that are out that I put up on YouTube were written before these features were added, so they're not going to show you those features being used until I go back and laboriously re-record all of them. So if you, but if you know those features are there, you can take advantage of them and it will um, really reduce the, um, it'll, it'll speed up your, your coding, it'll reduce the number of errors you're making, make, generally make your life a whole lot easier. Um, uh, so the first thing that has been added into Lantern that is a, a big improvement is uh, Trisbort annotations. So let's pop over to uh, Trisbort here and let's look, look at a map. There we go. So inside of Trisbort now you can put annotations on the ends of objects and rooms that uh, describe, that will, that will control the, the flags on those objects. So the, notice that there's an object here called Metal Door, and after its name, it's got inside of square brackets DLX. That means it's a door, it is locked, and it is closed. So when you import this map into Lantern, Lantern will create an object called Metal Door, and it will set the door flag on it. The, it'll set the flag that says it's locked, and it will set the flag that says it's closed. And let's look at the large wooden box over here. That's a C, so that's a container. And gloves are WP. That means they're wearable and portable. So most objects will not need to have flags set, but um, for things that the player might manipulate, those will probably have flags. And uh, if you, if you know if you if you can, the more work you can do in Trisbort the the easier your life will be it's a lot easier to make the map inside of trisbord than it is to do it inside of lantern though you could do it inside of lantern let's pop back over to lantern real fast here and uh let's um there we go take a look at um the help menu here so if you forget what those annotations are they're right here inside of help uh trisbord help and you can pull up it'll show you all the little flags uh, container door locked portable scenery supporter wearable and closed right so those are all flags that you can set on objects and they go inside of square brackets after the object's name so if you're like ah i know there's flags i can't remember what they are you can find them here in the help all right what else what else we got um if you are making a new project again the tutorials do, mostly do not show this but it, they are it is there now Let's go, let's say we wanted to add a function here. So let me add a function to my program. I'm going to give it a garbage name, click add, and there's my function. And now here's where I would type the code for that function. There's all these tropes that pop up over and over again in text adventure games. Like I have, the, I need the door to, the key to open the door, or I've got to shoot something, or I've got to shoot a monster or kill a monster, and then it's going to drop something, or I need to, you know, toggle a flashlight on and off or something. Um, to uh, handle those cases, if you just right click on the code editor window, there's a lot of shortcuts or kind of code snippets that Lantern can just drop right in there for you. And then you just have to go change the object names. So um, if you wanted to move an object into the world here, let's say, let's, let's select that and see what it does. Uh, change item, and it'll, it'll even give you instructions on what to do. And uh, it'll put the code snippet in there for you. So uh, this will make your life a whole lot easier. You just have to go change the whatever it tells you to change. All right, so kill an enemy. Kill, kill an enemy with body left behind. Kill an enemy with uh, kill an enemy with a body left behind and an, an item drop. Right. So all of the you know use a door requ require a disguise block an exit. All of the stuff that typically happens in these adventure games. A, a lot of those snippets are, are, are a lot of those can now be done using these snippets, and then you just go in and change the. Uh, the names of the objects and the and the text to make it match your specific case, uh, and that works for events too. If you wanted to add an event, events are things that the game checks for every turn, like you know consuming batteries or running out of health or running out of air, uh, anything that, that's kind of like a ticking clock kind of thing. Um, uh, that would be that would be an event, something that might randomly happen in the game, right? You randomly drop an item or you know, the thief randomly pops up and steals something from you. Uh, if you right click on the, the code window here, you get a different set of, of options, but it's basically all the same stuff. Uh, more stuff happens in functions than in events, but um, in events, you're really checking stuff. Um, 
in uh, functions are kind of doing stuff. All right, so there, so there's there's lots of code that Lantern can just drop in for you. So if you're before you, you know, keep in mind that that's all, that's all there to help you. Now let's say that you had to write, um, you know, you're you're going to sit down and write some of your own code. There are lots of shortcuts that are built into the the editor. Uh, so if you want to write an if statement, just type if and hit tab twice and Lantern will stub out an if statement for you. Sometimes you need an if else clause, then just type the word else, hit tab twice, and Lantern will stub out the else clause for you. And now you don't have to worry about your curly braces lining up. Uh, things that are frequently typed. You're usually trying to print lines of text. Uh, PR, tab, tab, will expand to print line. Print line prints a line of text followed by a carriage return. Uh, if you want just a line of text without the carriage return, just delete the LN. Sometimes you might need, you want to print out the name of an object uh, or a, a print out a variable. That's PV, print variable, tab, tab. Uh, it will, and then you put in here, you put the name of the variable that you want to print out, health. So there's no string concatenation. You can't say print, print line health plus, uh, you know, something else, or your health is blank plus whatever, uh, percent. You, you have to sort of print things out one at a time. There's no string, con string concatenation. Um, you can't concatenate strings together. You've got to print out each piece uh, one, at, one at a time, which is, I don't know, it's not really that, that big a deal. Um, so there's print line uh, and print, print variable. What else? Okay, so a lot of times you're trying to manipulate or check where the player is or do something to the player. PL, tab, tab, will expand to player. Um, in these games, you are sometimes moving things out of the world if they disappear, or you are taking them from out of the world and putting them into the world. In Lantern, that's called off-screen. There's a room called off-screen. That's room zero. If you OF, tab, tab, expands to off-screen. Just speeds up your, speeds up your programming. Uh, also, to move things around in the world or to change their properties, you use the dot notation, just like you do in JavaScript or C, C Sharp, C++. Uh, so... There are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that involve using the, um, the the properties on objects. So let's let's put the player in here. Whoops, uh, PL tab tab, and let's say we wanted to change where the player is. That's the player's holder, uh, and synonyms for holder are location and parent. So if I type player dot h tab tab, that will expand to holder. And now let's let's say we want to move the player off screen, which we would never ever do. There you go. Um, so that would move the player out of the world. It would move the player off screen. So uh, dot H is holder, uh, dot D is description, dot E is lit, for E for emitting light. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, dot H is the holder. We are, I think we might have already done that. Dot L is location, oops, dot L. Um, dot P, oh, maybe dot P doesn't do anything. I guess it doesn't do anything. Um, what? And I think we've got dot O. Oh, for open. Okay, I got a little bug there. I got to go fix that. Um, and dot W for whether or not something's being worn or not, right? So you can toggle. You know, is the shield being? Is the armor being worn? Is the helmet being worn? Is the radiation suit being worn? So a lot of those those little keyboard expansions are already built into. They're built into the code editor. And again, if you forget what they are, they're all outlined for you um, in the help up here. In code editor shortcuts, um, you can um, uh, just just pull that up if if, if you it'll um, they're right there and they're listed out for you. So um, so that will make your life a little bit easier, make your life a whole lot easier um, because now you can let Lantern write the code for you instead of you having to to type it all in and. and uh, just let let the tools do the work for you and your life will be good. So 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 there it is. Uh Trisbort annotations. Make sure you put annotations on objects in Trisbort and then uh um that will make your life easier. Remember you've got your code snippets. Lantern can write a lot of the text adventure trope stuff for you. And then when you're right when if you do, you know, when, when you do eventually have to write your own code, um yourself, remember that there's all those little keyboard shortcuts in there. Um, that will help you, uh, that will 
help your code stay organized and readable. So there you go. Keep in mind that all this stuff is in there and the tutorials, the tutorial videos on YouTube will not show this because these features were added, you know, late, later in Lantern's development, later in, in the development process. And uh, I just, they just weren't there for me to take advantage of when I made those tutorials. So, um, so there you go. There's a whole lot of stuff in there that will make your life, um, make it much, much easier to write your game. So um, I don't know, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, by all means, just email me. If something's broken, email me. I will be happy to try to fix it as fast as I can. Uh, it's my sincere hope that Lantern is just, it gets, gets better and more useful for people and uh, allows them to create fun new games for their old, favorite old machines.